Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. We're playing 20 Minutes Till Dawn. We're quite a few episodes in, and we're about halfway through all the characters. So this is about halfway through the series. We're just playing so we get a feel for all the characters just to get some substance to the series. Uh, and to make my money's worth. So let's go ahead and play. And there are a total of 12 characters, so we're on the sixth character today. Today we're playing Lilith. When enemies are killed, summon a spirit. Spirits chase down nearby enemies and deal eight damage. Wow, okay, so we're gonna have even more summons since our build are summons based. So let's go ahead and unlock Lilith. And she has four HP, so that's a pretty good start. We did like, uh, we, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the salvo knife. Track enemies as you move. Your shot simultaneously shoot towards every tracked enemy. Tracking occurs more often the faster you move. Okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the sword. And we're gonna play a standard mode. Uh, we're gonna play, oh, we got pumpkin patch too. But we're gonna play temple for a little bit. If we don't get it for the next few characters, then we'll switch to pumpkin patch and see how that's like. So let's go ahead and select temple. And here we go. Into the darkness. Just like normal, game starts off pretty slow. Okay, I see the summon. So the more enemies it kill, the more damage you do. So we do 20 damage with our swords starting off. And the summon is eight damage, not enough to kill, but I'm sure we can get some upgrades. Any bit of damage helps. Summon two magic spears. We'll go ahead and grab that first. Gets a little bit more damage on the way. Uh, we're gonna focus a little bit on move speed later. The screen is already getting a little cluttered. So as soon as the summons hit an enemy, they dissipate, so there's no piercing damage with it. Getting a little hard to see already. Uh, let's see what we have. Power shot, holy arts, dodge 20. Gain a soul heart every 9 seconds, 90 seconds. Gain soul heart, max 3. So, do we gain a three max of 3 soul sh uh, hearts in a row, or 3 soul hearts, period? Let's go ahead and grab the soul shield, grab some health early. Uh, I didn't really like the other options too much. Let's take these enemies out. Grab some early XP. Later we will be leveling super fast, but for now we do have to grab all the XP that we can get to get to that point. Okay. Um, rapid fire. Let's do rapid fire to get our s spin attack off much quicker. Since that does a lot of damage in the beginning. Already got hit by explosion. That's a, I might switch to the shotgun after this if I die. Because the melee of this sword, the melee distance, is kind of screwing me over a little bit. Let's go ahead and do magic scythe. But glad we grabbed the soul heart early. So we do have some a little bit of buffer since we'll get some more soul hearts every 90 seconds. To be careful with the explosion enemies. So if there's a big cluster of explosion enemies, they will all explode, which causes more summons, which causes more ex uh, deaths, cause more explosions. Double shot projectiles, dragon egg. Base of dodge. Okay, let's grab the dragon egg. So there is no left trigger special ability. The last character had a dash. Very simple one button control. Attack. There we go. We've seen all the summons coming out now. We have to watch out for the beefy boys. Okay, let's go ahead and grab projectiles one, holy shield. Oh, holy shield protects you from taking damage. Your bolts have 35% chance of inflicting curse. Let's go ahead and grab holy shield. We're gonna grab some survivability early, so we don't have to worry about it later, since we're not really getting summons as an option. Although we do have two summons out right now. I would like to beef them up a little bit more. 
all that XP in the middle. So my holy shield broke. Luckily we'll get it back soon. I'm not sure what hit me. Okay, let's go ahead and grab... Frenzy attacks, summon attack speed 30%. When did I grab the dragon? Okay, that's my fault. I ran into the enemy just because I couldn't really tell the difference between the sprite. On your screen, you're probably like, <laughs> what's going on when you're running straight to the enemies? But on uh, when you're trying to focus on your character in the bullet hell, it gets a little chaotic. Kind of hard to see uh, when you're focusing on just a single point instead of the whole screen. And I do have a bigger monitor, so... Let's see... Uh, we got arrow magic. Uh, looks like arrow magic is the only thing that might be worth it right now. Let's go ahead and kill all those. We got some beefy enemies out right now. If I could get more attack speed, that'd be nice. Just keep having the summon, uh, my spin attack constantly going. What really screws me up with the, this level is the amount of projectiles that come later in the map. So it's really not the density of enemies right now. Let's see. Bullets have 50% chance of like burn. Bullet speed, 30%. Spread. We don't really have to worry about spread, to be honest. Yeah, let's do bullet speed. It looks like they fly faster, but I don't really attack faster. Hence, just the bullet speed uh, buff. Okay. So we got some gales coming out. I don't really remember grabbing that. I'm grabbing these power-ups so quickly I'm not sure <laughs> remembering what I'm grabbing. Gain 35% movement speed for every one second when an enemy is killed. Very nice. We kill constant enemies, so we should be moving pretty fast. Unless there's a cap to it. Okay. Bullet spread, or speed. Bullet damage. Magic lens, evasive. I'm not sure what evasive does, so we'll grab it. Doesn't seem like my left trigger does anything with it, so maybe it's just a natural dodge. So that's even more survivability. We do have a dragon egg out right now, so we'll have to wait till he pops out just to get a little bit more summon damage. I really want to buff my summons and maybe get some lightning attack. Uh, we got another summon right there. Magic Spear does 10 damage for every max HP you have. Um, yeah, let's grab 10 damage spears since we do have a lot of survivability. So it's kind of gets more damage early. I have one damage buffs, but here they are. Although the scythe move speed is probably the best ability that I have early game. Up until we get lightning. Ooh, everything's just melting now. Woo! That was close. My side saved me there. I thought, uh... I thought my... Kills... My the summon snipe kill was uh, an explosive enemy. Hoo! Yep. Dodge shot. Um, I can't tell if I took a damage or not. Getting a little clutter on my screen. Okay, so we killed him. Electro Mage on every second shot, call down lightning. That's what we're looking for. For 22 damage, which is pretty good. That pretty much one shots. I can't see. I'm taking damage. I got hit uh, two or three times already. Let's back up away from all the enemies. I think we killed Boss. No, he's still alive. We don't really have to worry too much about him. He'll just die naturally. All my summons are taking care of all the adds. Let's grab that power up. Uh, max HP 4, dodge minus 25%. Um, walk speed minus... Uh, projectiles plus 1, bullet size 100, bullet damage plus... Let's move that mouse. 50%. Well, I wish the reticule would, uh, the mouse uh, pointer would move, disappear while I'm playing the game. 
or at least in the menu screen because I'm using controller right now. Bullet size, 100% piercing. One fire rate, minus 25. Uh, these are pretty crap. Yeah, let's just leave it. So my dragon's out right now. Take full advantage of that. So we're getting nice on our summon, so we're just missing the ghost summon now. So these enemies are pretty weak. They're dying pretty naturally. Enemies are hiding in the shadows now, so they're a little bit harder to see. After shooting your last ammo, smite nearby enemies. Very nice. Electro bug. Um, summon damage 30%. Yeah, let's grab summon damage 30%. Beef them up a little bit. We don't need more damage right now. Or more summons. We'll grab that with just one. Just we have a chance. Get quietly surrounded right now. My auto attack is getting a little sticky. Sometimes when I'm holding trigger, it's not auto attacking. It's fine. Can't see, like right there. I was holding auto attack. Maybe I'm uh, holding it a little too early. Grab some XP. Train Dragon. Okay. Soul Knight. This magic spear gains 15 damage for every time you gain a soul heart. Divine Blessing. Increased reload rate and move speed by 25% while Holy Shield is active. It's not active enough. Move speed 20%, fire rate 5%. Dodge, move speed. Uh, let's grab the uh, Dragon attack. We're surrounded by enemies so much, we don't really need the move speed. I'm pretty happy with my move speed right now. Okay, so things are melting. Later, some beefier enemies come out, so we'll worry about that when we get there. Got hit. Ran straight into that. My projectiles that come from killing enemies is pretty much the same color as the enemies on the screen, so it gets a little tricky to determine what I'm looking at. Electro bug, okay, so we can finally get electro bug. Yeah, let's grab Electro Bug. We got two hits right now, and we have regeneration, so I'm in a comfortable spot. So we can start charging at the enemies. You're in a good spot when you can charge at the enemies. That means you got enough damage. Uh, unless we got some beefy boys. So we gotta start running back again. Magic size, uh, move speed, da increases your damage. After shooting your last ammo, game smite. Let's go ahead and get one cutter and get some more side damage. That'll stack nicely with the 30% move speed. Uh, summon attack speed, rather. Can't see. Did I get hit or? It's just so many sprites and projectiles on screen. That's the only negative thing about uh, the melee we have right now. Uh, that's why I like about the shotgun, because we can really charge at the enemies. All lightning damage increased by 12, increased lightning area effect by 75%. Very nice. So we get even more AE. We gotta start increasing damage. I got hit, I think. I don't know from what. So we're pretty stationary. I really want to move up to grab us all that XP up there. Bullet damage 10%, magic size uh, damage is increased by the bonus of your bullet damage. Um, dragon gains 15 damage every 6 seconds. This ability works even if a dragon is egg, we'll worry about that later. This is beef up our side. And maybe uh, pump out some, uh, bullet, um, some more bullet damage. Enemies are dying pretty rapidly, you can tell by the um, amount of killed summons that I have, my, my projectiles. Okay, so we're level 20. We got uh, max HP one, clone sword have 50, 50, clone, cyclone sword has a 50% chance to smite enemies for 20 damage on hit, very nice. After reloading, deal a huge spin attack that deals four times your bullet damage, implies curse, we don't have to worry about that. 
Uh, things are dying pretty fast. Move speed 30%. Cyclone sword damage is increased by bonuses to your move speed. Uh, let's do the smite damage. Get even more AE out. So we have a 50% chance to do smite. I can't tell if I get hit sometimes. I have the storm. Deal double. Uh, that's gale increase. Bullet speed. Bullets have 35% chance of freeze. Uh, Dragon bond your bullets deal additional damage. Uh, every 500 enemy kills, summon drops a soul heart. Uh, let's do Dragon Bond. Just gets a little bit more attack from my dragon. Look, all that XP. Just waiting for me to pick it up. Windborn? Okay, Gale. Dodge, Magic Spear, every time you gain a Soul Heart, we don't gain enough. Summon damage 20%, your summon steal 50, summon damage to nearby enemies every 2 seconds. That's going to be nasty. Whoa! I forgot that my uh, projectiles are summons, so they just do massive AE. That is absolutely disastrous for the enemies. Okay, let's do Age Dragon. So the more enemies that die, the more damage I do. So I can just hold trigger with this weapon. Most weapons I have to let go to reload. Or I'll just shoot like one shot. This, I can just hold it down and just have to everything since there's really no bullets to reload. Okay. Gain a soul heart, uh, which range summon damage 10%. Um, yeah, okay, enemies are dying super quick. I'm just gonna out level my problems. So we, uh, we're halfway there, we got 10 more minutes. Oh, we got projectiles. I can't tell if I got hit or not. So we have to play it a little bit more carefully. The boss is going to be uh, super annoying if there's going to be projectile enemies. Okay, move speed. We might want to grab move speed. Magic Spear gains 15 damage every time you gain a soul heart. Let's call down lightning to strike random nearby enemy for 22 damage while holy shield's active. Summon a ghost render to deal rapidly to shoot projectiles for 8 damage. Let's grab the move speed. The 8 damage is not going to do much for us right now. We'll just let my summons do all the work. Did I get hit? Yeah, I got hit. We do have to attack even though it slows us down. Because that's how we clear out the enemies. Okay. So I think we found a pretty OP build with this character. Anything that benefits summons, uh, like a character's affixes, Really, I got hit again. I got one health left. I can't see. I can't see. I'm just going to keep running. So we're going to stay a distance wise. It's projectiles that's really screwing me up. I need a level. I really need some more health. So hopefully, um, bullet damage. Pick up range, 50% move speed. Uh, Gale's pretty useless, so let's do bullet damage. Because I'll increase some of our summons power. I can't remember which one. But one of our summons has uh, summon power. Uh, the more damage you have, the more damage you do. Uh, they do. All that XP in the middle just being waiting to be grabbed. Okay, so we got a soul heart, so we got two hits. We got a little buffer. It's getting pretty intense right now. My heart rate just spiked. Okay, we got hit. Not good. We almost got a level. 
so let's just continue our path. Let's get away from the screen clutter. I really want to beat this round. Okay, so we got more hearts. Um, Magic Scythe inflicts curse, more damage, penetration, summon a ghost friend. Bullet bounce, fire rate 10%. Uh, let's do... The curse, because the enemies are going to get beat here. So that'll guarantee a little bit more damage. We gotta watch out for the projectile headed straight towards us. Summon damage 35%. Wow. Summon attack speed 35%. Yeah, we're taking that. Okay. And the screen is clearing up pretty quick. This character is pretty OP with the summon build. Seven more minutes. The first ten minutes goes by so quick. <laughs> that last ten minutes. Ooh. Does it, uh, <laughs> speed up. Okay. Here's where the enemies start getting a little bit stronger. We're going to be grabbing it, getting way less XP. So we got hit. Thankfully we had a soul heart. Still got to charge at the enemies because we do have projectiles. So we gotta keep moving, we can't just stand stationary. I think that was the point of this level. And unlike the forest, there's a barrier surrounding us, so that increases the intensity of the map and the difficulty. I got hit, I don't know by what. Okay. Oh, I can't see it, I need a soul heart, I need a soul heart. We're not getting really much XP anymore. Since we're just so over leveled. Just gotta survive a little bit longer to get a bonus soul heart. My heart rate is racing right now. This game just got really intense. Okay, we got a soul heart, so we got another cushion. Glad we grabbed the little benefits the boost uh, early summon damage by one percent after every 15 enemies killed a little late for that move speed magic lens summon attack speed 20 percent your summons have a 30 percent chance to call down lightning for 22 damage yeah let's do that i swear i grabbed holy shield maybe i'm getting hit enough where i'm not realizing that my holy shield's going down since there's not really a good indicator for it I think this is the furthest we've been on this level thus far. Let's keep moving up. The projectiles are a little bit forgiving. The hitboxes are pretty good with that. Uh, they're not overly big. Ten, uh, there's a lot of tendency with these indie games where the hitboxes... Oh, everything just died. But the hitboxes are a little too big. So we get a special boss. He's um, unique to this map. Okay, dodge, move to speed, increase summon damage 1% after your favorite. A little late for that. There's not a horde of enemies. Um, let's see, we've got move speed, bullet speed, bullet damage, um, glare. Let's do. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get the uh, move speed. What? Hit me! That was a really, really good run. I don't understand what hit me. I'm going to have to watch the replay on that. Okay. Another failed run. Um, this episode went on pretty long. Uh, the, the kind of goal of these episodes is just to get a feel for each character. So not every episode is going to be successful. I'm probably going to move back to the shotgun next episode. So... Anyways, thank you for joining me. Catch you next time.